What's up everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fulfill the orders you get on your Shopify store from clients. So let's get right to it. First of all, as you can see here, I'm logged into my Shopify store and here is my Shopify account. Now, I want to tell you that in order to uh, be able to have orders or to get orders or to receive orders from clients, you need to be on the Shopify paid plan. So if you created a, uh, a page on Shopify trial, and you added products to your store, you won't be able to like create your store and have orders. The clients will be able to view your website, however, they cannot place orders. So in order to be able to receive orders, you need to be on a paid plan. So uh, once you've done that and you have products, as you can see here, I have uh, some products that I listed and some that I have like imported from dropshipping uh, retailers or dropshipping suppliers here, as you can see, and now, if you notice on the home screen, I have here uh, things to do next. I have one order to fulfill and one payment to capture. That's because I gone, I've gone and uh, placed an order as a client on my online store. So I'll guide you through the whole process as if I was a client and receiving the order. And what you will see as the shop owner once the, clients, uh, the client like um, confirms the order. So let's open up the Shopify store here. It'll open up in a new tab. And as you can see here, I have a couple of orders. Let's uh, make an order. Let's order this hoodie, for example. I'll submit an order on this hoodie. Okay, let's see. Um, let's buy it now. And here I need to enter my uh, information. So I'll just enter in like some random information. I'll just paste in this email. And here I'll enter my name, my address and uh, my details right here okay as you can see i've entered some dummy information the payment is cash on delivery since i haven't set up an online payment method yet such as paypal or like uh, stripe or other methods like this so let's complete the order here and as you can see i can see the order summary right here so the subtotal including the tax okay i need to complete the captcha first to continue I'm a human. Okay, I'll click on continue on these uh, forms right here. And now the order is now received. And I can view here the summary of the order right now. The order, like my address on my, all my information. Of course, this is like some dummy info that I entered. This is not my real information. And if I go here to my Shopify store, now as a shop owner, as the Shopify store admin, I can refresh this page. And as you can see, now there are two orders to fulfill and two payments to capture. Now it says the payments to capture since I uh, chose or as a client, I chose a manual payment method such as cash on delivery or bank transfer and stuff like that. So I need as the shop owner or as the business owner, I need to confirm that I received the payment from the client either via bank transfer or like online transfers, transfer or payment to my e-wallet or cash on delivery if the clients paid the uh, delivery agent. Now, to fulfill orders, you either go here on your home page to the order to fulfill or go to orders right here on from the menu on the left. And now, as you can see, this is the order we just created or just uh, submitted. And this is the one I created earlier just to show you how it will look like on the home screen. Now, let's click on the first one. And here I can view the order itself, the item. So it's one small basic hoodie. The payment is pending because I haven't confirmed that I uh, like got it or I collected it since Shopify wouldn't know by itself. However, if the payment, if I was set, I set up like an online payment such as PayPal or a payment by credit card, the payment should be submitted automatically and collected automatically and it should appear here. So your screen might be a bit different than mine if you chose an online payment method or an online payment gateway. Now here is the timeline that I can view. So John Smith placed the order on the online store and the checkout number is that. Uh, the order is confirmed and the payment is pending cash on delivery and now the order confirmation was sent to John Smith which is like the alias name that I chose and I can view the email sent to the customer right here and now I can leave a comment to uh, for myself to like if there are updates if I contacted the customer and he told me that he would be like paying via bank transfer I can 
add this to the timeline as comments so I can review and follow up all the updates. Now, here I have two options. I can mark as paid if the uh, customer like pay me through uh, cash or cash on delivery or through bank transfer or to my e-wallet uh, locally. I can mark as paid or send an invoice to the client to collect payments. So if I click on send invoice, I can here send an invoice and confirm the message. Okay, cancel. And uh, now for now, let's mark it as paid. Let's say the client already paid me. So I'll mark this as paid. The method is cash on delivery. And it says here that manual payments won't be captured by Shopify. So you need to confirm it manually or on your own that you already collected the payment and now it's now paid. Now let's fulfill the order. If I click here, I can hold the fulfillment if I want to. And by clicking here, I can fulfill the item. And now I need to add a shipping carrier and a tracking number. So here I can see all the information of the address and I can click here to view the map. And I can click once I enter all this information, I can click to uh, fulfill the item. Okay, uh, now this item is fulfilled. I just click by, I clicked by accident without showing you or explaining all the details. Now, um, we already fulfilled the order. It means that it's on its way. However, we haven't added a tracking or a shipping carrier. So let's add here, you can add a shipping carrier and you can choose between all the carriers that are available right here. And you can choose other if you have like a local business or a local carrier that is not on the list, you can choose other. And now you need to add the tracking URL manually. This tracking URL is provided by your courier website. Once they receive the order, they will provide you with a tracking URL. So you need to add it here and then add the tracking number that will be provided also by the carrier. And you can add another tracking number if you want to. So you have two uh, options right here. If the uh, order is like split into two shipments or you want to uh, to split the orders to multiple shipments if you want to or send the order uh, on multiple uh, parts. Now here you can choose to send notification email to customer so that the customer will be notified once the shipment is on its way and he can track it as well. And you can send the tracking URL to the customer to follow up the updates of the, their shipment. Now click on save. And now the order is now fulfilled. Now if we go back to orders as you can see, this order is now paid and fulfilled. And if I go here to the order details, now you can see in the updates, the order, you man I manually accepted the payment, I fulfilled the order and the order was now archived. So um, I can follow up with the client to confirm if he received the order, but and I can manually leave comments to myself. So that's pretty much it. However, I need to tell you that the uh, this page might look a little different in your case because I have like submitted or I have chosen a cash on delivery, which is a uh, manual payment method that Shopify won't collect the money for itself. And as a uh, shipment, if I add tracking and I haven't added selected a carrier, however, if I select one, I just need to add the tracking number and that's it. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can easily fulfill orders that you get on Shopify.